New fallout following Hunter Biden's indictment on federal gun charges. The attorney representing the president's son now alleging that politics played a role in the indictment. Meanwhile, lawmakers on Capitol Hill are still reacting to the charges. ABC's Faith Abube is in Washington with the latest. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill divided along party lines on the historic criminal indictment of the son of a sitting president. Just hours after special counsel David Wise charged Hunter Biden with three felony gun charges, some Democrats hailing the indictment as evidence that the rule of law is functioning as it should. If Hunter Biden committed crimes, he should be held accountable. We have to stand by the rule of law and stand by what the courts do. But across the political aisle, some Republicans dismissing the special counsel's decision as a very small start, alleging without proof that there is more Hunter Biden should be indicted for. Where, where are the charges on human sex trafficking, uh, FARA charges, money laundering, uh, uh, tax evasion? That's one of about a dozen crimes that Hunter Biden's committed. Hunter Biden is facing two counts of making false statements during the purchase of a firearm and one count of illegal gun possession. The charges are tied to his previous drug problems, which he admitted to, including in this interview with CBS. I went one time for 13 days without sleeping and smoking crack and drinking vodka exclusively throughout that entire time. But Hunter's attorney maintains his clients should not have been indicted in the first place. Earlier this summer, prosecutors agreed to a plea deal. Hunter would plead guilty to a misdemeanor tax crime and enter a pretrial diversion program for a gun charge. But the deal fell apart in court. Attorney Abby Lowell now says the charge and the statute used to indict his client are likely unconstitutional and he expects the case will be dismissed before trial. What changed? Not the facts not the law, but all the politics that have now come into play. And some legal analysts point out that the indictment is unusual because Hunter Biden has no criminal record, no other crimes were committed, and the gun wasn't used in a crime. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.